I think it's a nine, and I think it goes. I think, something like that, yeah. I think that's nine, yeah. I've been actually just finished the drum clinic tour of Texas, which is really great. Uh, got to go back to a bunch of schools um, and, and kind of kick it in Texas, which is amazing. And I'm actually heading now from Paris to Lyon to do master classes after the Wiki Festival t tomorrow. And then I go to uh, Prague to do uh, my first drum clinic in the Czech Republic, which is kind of cool. And then I believe I'm coming back to the Czech Republic with Dee Snyder and doing some gigs with him this summer at some rock metal festivals. And uh, I think I'm doing some stuff in Vegas in the fall with Cher. So I'm waiting to find out about the definite on that, but I think that's happening in August. So that's kind of what's happening right now. Probably lately I've been really getting into a Johnny Hartman record with uh, Elvin and Coltrane. It's kind of an amazing record. Um, kind of been kind of vibing on that again. Kind of pulled it out on vinyl and it's been getting a lot of play. Three favorite drummers, that's a really tough one, man. I mean, obviously, John Bonham. You know, I think Peisty cymbals, you know, it's like, uh, for sure, John Bonham is a big reason why I play Peisty. Uh, Alex Van Halen, you know, another. And another great jazz drummer is often overlooked, who's also a great Peisty drummer, is a guy named uh, Al Foster, who was a great jazz dude who played with Miles Davis and uh, Joe Henderson, who always got such a great, dark, you know, cymbal sound, you know, and, uh, but but it was uh, it was kind of so, so his 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 personality was like bright but dark, which is kind of peisty for me. So uh, check out check out uh, Al Foster if you if you haven't. I mean, recently, I guess Whiplash, maybe, just because that was kind of my life in college, you know? I went to University of North Texas, and it was pretty much like that, so, uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. I watched that on the plane going to do some clinic somewhere, and I remember I was like, wow, that's, that's kind of my life. That was my life in school. <laughs> That's a tough one, man. I think maybe, you know, maybe like Rosanna, you know, by Toto, that, that killer Percaro shuffle. Kind of always feels good. That's always a fun jam to kind of lay into, you know? Man, three, narrow it down to three, man. Um, God, you know, first of all, I mean, like I said, the bright but dark, you know, I, I feel like the Peisty thing for me when I mentioned John Bonham and, and Alex Van Halen, you know, there's there's a warmth to the symbol, but then there's a brightness. So that kind of bright, dark, um, to me, uh, how they feel, you know, they feel 
there's a responsiveness to Pisces symbol that I feel like I can't get with any other symbol. I feel like um, it gives me exactly what I put into it. And, uh, and so I've gotten so attuned to it that if I'm sitting in a gig and I don't have a Pisces symbol, I feel really off balance. You know, my touch is so reliant on that. And then, um, you know, I guess that the, the, the best thing and the coolest thing is the consistency. You know, when I'm touring and traveling, you know, uh, it's it's amazing to get an 18 inch 2002 medium. And if I need another one, or if I show up for a sort of clinic like this, where I just roll into town, I literally landed here like three hours ago in Paris from Los Angeles. I can sit down on the drums and the cymbals will be exactly like the ones in my rehearsal studio I just left, you know, a day ago. So that's kind of amazing. And I don't think any other cymbal company can, can tout that accurately. So it's kind of impressive, kind of cool. To, be, to get really philosophical, I've been doing a bunch of clinics and you know, you have people say, you know, careful what you wish for because you might get it. And I've kind of changed that when I've been talking to students, I've been doing a lot of colleges lately and I feel like, you know, not to get too, you know, but, but, but it is, you're asking for it. So I would say I've changed that to like, be careful what you work for because you will get it if you, if you work for it. So that's my new kind of, my philosophical kind of heavy duty Rudy thought. I think a lot of drummers don't realize is that that drumsticks are actually in tune and you can actually tune them so I actually tune my sticks and make sure I'm kind of crazy about it but I make sure my sticks are actually paired and I actually if you tap them up to your ear uh, you can actually notice this and I'm amazed how many drummers when I do this in clinics or in drum shops I always do it before I play or I mark my stick on the back to know that these are so I use like a different like numbers or symbols so I if I go to grab them they'll be marked and I know that they'll be the right pitch whether it's whether whatever it is as long as they're matched it's amazing how when I hear a record and somebody counts off a song I can hear if the sticks are really mismatched and most drummers aren't aware of that so check it out might drive you crazy but you might be into it Um, I, my superpower would be to be able to get, get rid of jet lag in a single bound. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, that would be an amazing power to have though. Somebody's got to come up with some kind of a pill that you can just take and be like back. No, I would say probably fly. I think I'd say I'd want to fly just because, you know, I think 
to me, the best thing, if I'm playing really well, I feel like um, the few mo the moments this has happened where I honestly feel like I'm flying, like I'm looking above the music and looking above myself, and I feel like that feeling is like the feeling I go for when I'm when I'm playing. And it, it doesn't always happen; it rarely happens. But when it does, that's that that mark you're going for. So I would say to to be able to to keep that going and and to be able to to fly, I guess. You guys, thanks to Geva and uh, Pisces. Thank you. Europe, you guys rule. Cool. Cool. All right, not bad for a not bad for a, a jet lag dude.